Hello? Should I press something? Am I... Oh, maybe that was the one telling me Life is Strange is a series that changes on my choices. It's a little glitchy. Alright. It is a nice night. Things are peaceful in Blackwell. People are a little, a little shaken up from the events of the other day, but things are okay. It's very nice out. Don't not entertainment. Stranger Mastered, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Mm, it's Kate's bunny. I wish I knew what its name was. Oh, I'm getting a hey! text. Speaking of... We got some message, Max. Chloe says, I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Okay. Ah, our room. Before we do leave, of course, we're going to look around and see what's new. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Ah, you spent all night studying again? Alright, we're on this one. Uh, okay, so I read that. It's not enough that Kate is alive, and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to get to Blackwell third. I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Matson, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped towards me in a glimmer of hope in her eyes. With a glimmer of hope in her eyes, part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk, knowing he had a lot to do with Kate's suicide attempt. I thought about doing it, then flipping a quick rewind, but I knew that it would be at the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan because otherwise I doubt it would ha happen to a Prescott. That's some small justice for Kate. There'll be more if it's the last thing I do, which could be... which it could be if I'm not careful. After being grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with Warren in the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He keeps he kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better than being to be treated like a hero at school than a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that somewhere something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims, not to mention me if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time, as if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? Got all that. Let's see, we gotta get statue, or figurine, squirrel, some plaid clothing, a bird, cooking, uh, an aquarium, cigarette and a skull, a truck, ants, and a bird. And how about the texts? Get that ass in gear now. Alright, but what's, what's... Alright. Fuck that shit. Elope. Sorry about Kate. I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. And that's what they were messaging at the end of that one. Uh, yo, Supermax, how's the Blackwell hero doing? The hero is still shaking with nerves, and I got even got Nathan Prescott suspended. You are the boss, but no emoji. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool? And then she had something cool to cool show us. Mom says, thanks for letting- oh. Whoop. 
Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl. We want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes, swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're so proud. We're very proud to... S so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Private number says, hey, whore, fem Nazis will be exterminated. Watch out. And Warren said... Uh, yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit in the lab's 3D printer, cool? And I'd love to reward you with dinner and escape to the planet of apes. No pressure, truly. Thanks, Warren. I need to get rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended too, too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later, okay? And that's that. This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. Oh, because of the, the feminazis text? Yeah. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Blackwell student Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Not that that matters. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. <sighs> Blackwell student attempts to suicide on campus, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof on campus dormitory today, with most of the student and faculty... As startled witnesses, authorities confirm that the student, Kate Marsh, 19, has been troubled, but, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of ho cell phones recorded the event, which has ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down sa to safety. And then sales tax overwhelming. And then someone's hiding their face. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. Missing persons list, if you have any information. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Leading to the whereabouts of the following missing persons, please immediate contact the Arcadia Bay Police, P the police Department. Rachel Amber, Alton Ketsey, Melissa Ligers, Grayson, Wis Winster Smith, and Sunshine Ray. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Kate Beverly Marsh. She has 124 friends and 223 subscribers. Uh, her birthday is September 12th, 1995. All right, Taylor Christensen says, Get well, you are in our hearts. Evan Harris says, Thinking of you. Alyssa says, We'll be behind you, Kate. We're all behind you, Kate. Father Lamont says, <clears throat> Palm 3418, The Lord is close to brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Victoria Maribeth Chase says, Sending love to you, Kate. Mark Brewington says, We love you, Katie. Come back to church soon. Courtney Wagner says, Hope you feel better. And Zach Rickens says, Blackwell Bigfoot's promise to win the next game for you. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Time is bunk, Douglas Adams. Maxine has 81 friends and 12 subscribers. Oh, honey. Warren says, Max Power. Brooke says, Watching you walk down with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Dana says, You're a hero, Max. Thank you. Evan says, You'd actually made me proud to be a Blackwell's Bravo. To be a Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Daniel DeCasa says, Eres una chica dura. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Hayden Joe says, Epic. Juliet says, Way to make headlines, Max. Well, it's not like people are, like, being mean or anything. Jeez, Max, you hate attention. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. And you? Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Okay. Uh. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. That is so true. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. <laughs> and everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Really? It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. Yeah. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. She's just beaming in this photo. Just, just such a symbol of happiness. Alright. Let's look at Lisa. First I saved Chloe. Then Kate. And now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Don't get cocky, Max. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. Mm. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Doubt it. And All the Kate roads are leading to my tornado vision. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Speaking of, let's feed you. Here's are a you carrot. Are you hungry, bunny? Here, nosh on this. Make sure you give him pellets, too, though. Ah, some light. Nice. Now you're not so in the dark. 
Nothing to look at over here. Oh, I can sit on the bed. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. Oh, how do I use the mirror? <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. Oh, I can't sit on the bed. <sighs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. <laughs> Someone's door is open. Oh, that's Data's. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be light. Let's see what everyone's written down. Uh, wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Sad. What did Brooke say? We'll wait for Kate. No comment. Cool. Nothing out there. Another missing person poster. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? I don't know. Or do I? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Blake for Kate. Marsh. Sorry. Forgot about her last name there. What's Kate say? So Miss much you feel better soon. Feel better soon. Blackwell's playing, praying for you. Hope you get better. I'm sorry, Kate. Get well soon. Well, someone is very apologetic. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Here's an investigation. The end of the world might be coming before your party. Ooh, ominous. Oh. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. I was born in 1999. It was such a party. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Oh. Hi. Um, you're not Courtney. You're the other one. Ah, uh, Taylor. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. It's always very nice to be mean to people. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. I doubt it. I doubt it very much. Alright, Taylor, what's up? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. I'm not gonna blame her. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? Or though I'm she just, is like, the one shocked. that threw that paper that I've said never seen anybody try to kill they loved her porn before. video, so Me neither. <clears throat> I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave yeah, Kate. Let's just mention I'm it. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. Let's... She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Oh no. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. Mm -hmm. That meant a lot to me. Oh, I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. That's the best combination. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Same. Talk to you later. Alright, let's rewind. I'm gonna see what happens if I blame her first. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As <laughs> a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I already told you that my mom is in the hospital. I'm done for the day. Yeah, I didn't think that would go well. All right, let's talk about Victoria. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Huh. Probably to hell. <laughs> well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Oh, we all Thanks, know. Thanks, Max. 
And it was like pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Yes. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Jeez. Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. Yeah. I like really do need to get some sleep, Max. Once you're done brushing your teeth, of course. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Yes. Do it. Do it. All right, Victoria's room. Oh wait, I think she says same. Oh, I had no idea Victoria's uh, she was about to speak. The chase she crossed the line. Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. Can you finish what you were going to say before I interrupted you? You're saying, like, since you crossed the line from, like, sneaky to whatever. Oh, I already did her pictures, so I can't do that. Her shoes. Those boots are made for walking runways. These boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one... Portrait de la assholes. Oh yeah. That's that's great. Whoa, there's Kate. Oh. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Poor thing. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Victoria Chase, Mr. Jefferson Art Class, Blackwell Academy, October 1st, 2013. Excellent, well-researched essay with a unique point of view. A plus, or just A, I guess I always put the plus. Noir and Day Expressionalist Photography by Victoria Chase. Units of Study. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, then let's check. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Need fresh air, Taylor Christensen from Victoria. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework, so how can anybody, or how can anybody do fucking homework after someone almost jumps off the roof? I can't believe we saw it live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like, everyone's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. Oh, and she's responding to, uh,. What a trip that was today, seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink, too. Let me know the time. Oh, wait, so which one was first? I don't know. I think Victoria's first, so top this one like first. like a thread for <clears throat> sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. From Nathan to Victoria, that Twemo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays her s with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb does he have to is he to have me repping for him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down and the end of the world party is fucking on. You in? Cheers, Prescott. From Victoria. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her kiss-assing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs out with gets in trouble, and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can pick plot in person. Hang in there. Trash can. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Oh, jeez. Uh, welcome, Victoria Chase from Amelia Pond. Oh, you taking some time off from Rory and the Doctor? The order detail. Cashmere sweater times one. Shortened, delicate, $30. Payment detail. Total altercations, $30. Amount due, $30. Please keep the receipt on collection for Friday 10th. Items will be kept for one month only. Huh. A little lip balm. Okay. Oh, I need a photo. Ching. Oh, in a drawer. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Oh. Nathan, where are your teeth? That's terrifying. Oh, I don't like that. They did not fix that photo at all. Alright, well, I think that's everything in here, so time to go. Let's see what Dean is up to. Oh. 
Don't ball so loud. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. Come here. One second, you're waiting for Kate? Dana's really hurting over this. Okay, let's go see you. Hey, how you feeling, hon? Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. You seem to think no one does. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I know. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? You? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. Here I need you a are. break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. Max, you're carrying you your later. bag. Like, where else would you... What, what, what would you be doing? I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Of course. I'm just gonna snoop through your stuff first. Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Mm-hmm. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Trevor says, Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day, and I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. I'm glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish she had more friends like you. You've always been so good to me when everything else is so fucked up, and I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Dana says, Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and feel like I have done. I should have done more to help. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they were BFF. I'm so happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and you are just as good for me as I think I am for you. Or as you think I'm- you're just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you ton- tonight. XX. Oh, oh, Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there's a few two answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Hi, Julia. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm in a little. Sh I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get many answers to so soon after what happened today, and maybe it's better to keep a low profile profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. I agree. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Yes, it does. And she still got Trevor's, or not Trevor, Logan's this paper. This is both sad and pathetic. As usual. All right, what does Courtney say? Waiting for Kate, no money, no power. Didn't, what? No money, no, no money, don't frill, I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know what that says at all. Can I can I look at it? Praying for a fast recovery, Kate Hart. Sure you are, Courtney. And then Stella says, Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Aww. Let's go. I love the sound of a nice, like, fall night. Well, any any good weathered night. So Chloe is waiting out. for me in front of the main hall. Yes, but we're going to look around first. Ooh, can we sit on the bench? What can we do while we sit on the bench? What do you have to think in this moment of zen? I feel so... giddy. Even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Is that all you have to say? 
That was pretty short. Fine. Alright. Quarrel. No. Get back here. Oh. Hello, little friend. Look at the lens and say nut. That was a bad photo. You got his gotcha. ass. Chloe says... Max? Oh, more stuff. Dear Diary, October 9th. Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime or character I wanted to be, or my dreams of being respected globe-hopping photographer, or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know what that, how that turned out so far. Chloe's determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do?, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate Marsh, Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and this esteemed Prescott's. It would be too easy-peasy if they were all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic Channel, Mystic, Scientific, or Apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay Tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I think I'm going- I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing the students at Blackwell show their support with her, for her with gifts and flowers, finally. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days, I hope. And I like I give a shit if the Prescott family and sends a team of lawyers after me, please. I doubt they would like all the publicity. I doubt their tentacles reach into the west rest of Oregon. Not yet, anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand to meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was the Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony, like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke her a few to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door and saw all the nice messages from other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her onto that roof. Everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see what people the people are on her side, finally. I hope I can vi visit her when I, this all blows over. Maybe there's not a good choice of words. Uh, all right. Nothing else in this area. Tabanga. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Please. Oh, what? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Well, that's an odd detail, but okay. I mean, sure. He he can fix it, I guess. So you can say this. Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees down. me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. You okay there, pal? Can I just rewind then? Alright, cool. Later. Max the ninja strikes again. For some reason, I didn't realize it wasn't a cutscene right away. I thought that she would be walking on her Booyah! own. Booyah! You bitch. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. You're so scary. You're like a scary punk asshole. Really? Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. 
my head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Yeah, let's talk about chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. No. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? It didn't work for a few minutes, Chloe, like a few hours ago. I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially There's after I just got Nathan expelled. Them. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? About Kate. See, I do care about Kate. But I feel like Rachel is kind of the main investigation we're doing, we so... We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't... She just had that kind of personality. Her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. I know. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I Shall present we? the spare keys to Blackwell. Ooh. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> you're so not into it, but you also absolutely are. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Thank you, Hopefully Mr. Jefferson. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. No. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. What happened to Mark? Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? Oh. I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? Seriously. It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. She's not wrong. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Oh, there it is. Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. The more you push, the more you're he's gonna want to be work, near you. So it's not like you're playing favorites. Oh, God. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. Stop. We would have to spend a lot of time together. Stop. That could be fun, don't you think? You want to have sex with your teacher? Say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. That's not true, though. As a favor You're to the your one future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. Really? This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait. I don't know why she thought I that would work. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, that was so stupid. Like, hey, pick me. I'm gonna creep you out and act like a stalker. So and, and stupid. Look, you did it. Just when like, I think Victoria can't get any more evil. She literally... Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Mm-hmm. Chloe the Keymaster. Oh yeah. You know it. <laughs> Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. Stop bringing that up, huh? We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. 
Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Not that he Still, likes she will you. Not want me in the hands of the local police. I guess. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. Also, like, you can rewind if we get caught, mm. right? Sorry. You have mad powers, Max. But my I'm perfectly powers fine. Didn't save Kate. That you smoke weed. Maybe I did on my own. But stop on, making it seem like she's Max is evil for taking the blame for you. Like Jesus. Ooh, there's a letter. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She from, shut his ass down fast. <laughs> from David Madsen to Michelle Grant. Dear Miss Michelle, Michelle Grant, as head of Black, as, <clears throat> I have to get into my David tone. As head of security of Blackwell's Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure that all bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since I'm taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans to the surveillance system with a coward petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting the Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe, of pri in safe and private security. Sincerely, David Madsen. Sorry, I lost my space there halfway through. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a little peek. Nothing around here. No, it was just the letter. Cool. What's up, Chloe? That's it. the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. And he doesn't. He's hiding shit. Like everybody So here. David thinks he has the key, well, but he doesn't, definitely or there's have just no key? Open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. Good luck. I might as well test out my thief skill. Cool. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. <laughs> you know, not very confident. Cut. Drawers. Nothing here. More drawers. Dead end. Maybe this drawer? Boring. One more drawer. Crap. Is there. Oh. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Listen, you don't need to be judging people's fashion interests, Max. You, you're not exactly fashion forward. <sighs> no keys here. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is. Hey. Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal. Stop making those things, saying those things about Samuel. He's fine. Nothing to see here. Fascinating. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Warren Graham. Hey, Warren. You busy? Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Oh, jeez. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, of course you are. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry. I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Just don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This Get back to your World of Warcraft. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I got the ingredients. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Let's do this. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna wait till he's done. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Shut. Yep. Yep. Continue. Yep. Are we done? Come on. Just, 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 thank you. Alright. Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. One, sugar. Two, a soda can. Three, duct tape. Four, sodium chloride. 
here's how you'll do it. You put the sugar in the can, and then, and then, and then you tape. Oh, you put the nar narco, the, wait, what's it called? The sodium chlorate, and you put that on the tape, and then you put the tape around the bottle, set the bottle on fire, and then it'll explode. Any questions? Sodium chlor WTF? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? The key word is try. I bow to your wisdom. Alright, what's new here? Damn, that was too close. I was doing so well until I go out got outside, and of course it was Principal Wells, of all people, blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so... Yeah, he busted me. What? He didn't bust me. I finally got to see what the gossip was true for a change. What did he... Principal Stells was whip-faced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was just a lot cooler drunk than sober. I can see why he was so confused. Dealing with Kate's family and the Prescotts and David Matson. he still acts suspicious and gives me way too much tood, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously, but I can see that he's under a lot of pressure so much that he's way so wasted he can't even use his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewarding power. After that, I had to go meet Chloe. Bad Max. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her, but finding Rachel, and f for her and finding Rachel, but she has and she has to get all butt hurt if I don't have time for her. But obviously, I have time in hand, but I can't stay mad at her for long as she was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building, and honestly, I was pretty amped up too. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me. Shocked. And worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Hears contest. She's freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened to Kate. I don't, just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer, so why try so hard and hurt so many people to manipulate everything already in your favor. I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. And yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour, although Chloe was technically right. How can we break in with a key? Never mind that. It was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the Nip Blackwell ninjas strike again. And... Alright. Cool. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can Real. find those items. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott power. Pretty much. What do you know? Trash. As well, that could have been cans in there, but I think you need a full can. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. The chess team. I think I saw that in the first episode. Can 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 what do you say about oh, Rachel? Rachel. I know you and Kate are connected by all this. Oh. Oh, is this the same or no? No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Nice. Oh, the trash can? Nothing in it. Damn. Maybe Kate started a revolution. Don't be left out. Flush the Vortex Club. Vortex Club sucks. Pray for Kate. Vortex turd. Kate Marsh power. Vortex killed Kate. Well, she's not dead, but yeah. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. <laughs> Just emptied. Nothing here. Damn it, Samuel. Why you gotta be so good at your job? Release the crack hand. Oh, is that why you said they should just, like, call it the sugar machine? Guess, guess we're gonna need... It's no, no, we're not getting way. the sugar. We're getting the can anyway. The crack hand. That was so stupid. Only three more items to go. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. Your party days are over. Anything in the lockers I can snoop at? What? 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 Gross. I hate that formalin smell. It's not the best. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. But he made a mistake. I'm gonna change his you grade. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. 
Ooh, sugar. Sugar. Wish I just had You're a box halfway of sugar. home, Max. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Warren, speaking of, you still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here, didn't blow up yet. Didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. Hey, you need to know how it works. It's important to know about your bowels. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's that it periodically changes if new... Da Vinci was a boss. If new, um, uh, formulas are discovered. I never said they were great, troll. Max takes shit selfies. And then, what's that say down there? I missed the other one. I never said I they had were sex great, with your mom. troll. Jesus. Look at the science book. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Really? The properties of sodium chloride is the inorganic compound that is commonly used as weed killer. Toxicity in humans. The toxicity of our city, of our city. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Yes. Good evening, fish fish. Give me a picture. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Mm, pretty. Now Please go back to bed. resume your slumber. Good job. Nothing. Chemistry stuff. Do not open. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Really? That's that's your issue with the skeleton with the cigarette? I think it's funny. And I like that Mrs. or Miss Grant kept it. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Give. You know you're clumsy, Max. Oh. Don't waste Whoa. your rewind power. Use the damn chair. There was a glitch. Get the chair. I would have used the chair if you let me at least look at the chair. Like, it didn't give me the option. Only one more ingredient left. Mm-hmm. There's nothing in this area here, is there? Anything in the trash here? No, can't check that one. Fine. Just check the classroom, then. This is like a scene in a horror film. <laughs> I probably should find those items now. You're almost done. I feel silly thinking of myself as an everyday hero for helping Kate. But? But it's cool that other people do. Yeah, there you now go. if I could only find Rachel. I guess I don't need cans, so I don't need to check the trash anymore. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Never. The contest pictures. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Aww. Firefighter doing Shit. his job. I can't tell if it's helping the elderly woman, the child, or if it's holding an animal. Hmm. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. It's true. He probably should have gotten, like, what he's drawing as well. To show, like, why he's a hero to you, because you, you're, you're an artist, so of course a hero would be an artist. Toria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? As emotional as this is, and I do like it, um, the problem is I can just imagine freaking Victoria going around the graveyard being like, let's look for the saddest person here. And that's just, that's just, that's just a little unsettling. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Why does doing things, like, like, he's he's not the kind of guy that's going to be impressed that you're mature. Like, just, like, fuck off. Like, I, I just, I hate, I hate the fake bitches. I hate it. 
The tape is mine. Gotcha. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. I can look at one picture, but I can't look at the other. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture the same at all, thing. it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. That is the exact same thing you said on the first chapter. You you should you should you should update your opinions. Opening the door. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Kate's locker. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Mm-hmm. Can't do anything with mine, though. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Mm-hmm. All right, making our way back to Chloe now. The school has been fully swept over. Or is it thoroughly swept over? I'm sure either one works. Let's Take use the it pipe easy bomb. on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. <laughs> Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. She's so excited. If you'll light the candle. Can you so cool. light my candle? Get ready to hold. Some of the drawing look like. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Boom. That was so fucking cool. Not exactly sure how it worked, though. Oh, we are toast! Wee -wee -wee. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I got this. I got this. I got this. Watch this. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a real one. Oh. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You didn't turn the lock. How did that work? You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. <laughs> Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Never any taste. He has a taste for alcohol. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? How can you not? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. All I can think of is he's probably sitting in that chair when the Prescotts are grilling him to keep Nathan off of the news and he's sweating on that shit, thing. Sherlock, and ugh. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. Fine, I'm on I will. Case. I'll do that. Well, since I'm looking this way first, I'll look here first. Who's Kate's file? This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. Kate Beverly I'm Marsh. In the wrong place. Birthday September twelfth, nineteen ninety-five. Uh, I don't really care about her address or her phone number. Uh, she's born in Arcadia Bay. And her parents. Uh, it doesn't say. All right. Her guardian name. Doesn't say. All right. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into the controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Uh, GPA is 3.9. Brief summary, Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay, K-Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Kate Marsh, Principal Wells says, as the school nurse i oh from 
about Kate Marsh to Principal Wells from the school nurse. Uh, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experimented with, experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and was she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure that she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Baranchi. Only two more files to go. Warren? So did you blow the lock, Una Bomber? Oh please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Alright. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet, even with so many terrible things happening around us. It felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the center of a cos great cosmic death mystery or something bigger than us, any of us. But we kind of suck as master spies since we didn't have a key to the principal's office. No worries with my rewind power at hand. Of course, Dr. Warren Graham. And of course, Dr. Warren Graham. He came through with bitch and micro mini bomb made of sodium whatever what the fuck ever i probably learned more putting those greens together than the entire semester so far sorry miss grant warren is a star student here he tries so hard to help maybe too much but what's wrong with that these days i'm so grateful he's on my team cool anything over here i certainly can't use this hey I, I tried okay Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Listen, I agree. You're not so tacky up close. Yeah, see, it's fine. What's this? That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides on these matters as we encourage the faculty and students' body to participate in their school operations. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasion of privacy because you didn't want people seeing you being drunk on the campus. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. Can I, can I, can I, uh, ah, photo for her. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. That was, that was very corny. Don't, don't let her ad-lib. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Thank you, Max, for being so not helpful. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Mm. Though it's full, so it's he's saving that for later. And nothing here. Well, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Right. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. <laughs> Aw, I love their relationship. What's this file? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. From Sean Fre Prescott to Raymond Wells. Principal Wells, in light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel my large contribution to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss March gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider this and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Bitch. Look at this pile. But nothing useful. Tumbleweeds. Nothing. Look everywhere. You have shit I'm to looking. Hide. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Student Nathan Joshua Prescott. He was born August 23rd, 1995. He was born in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, his parents are... I can't read those names, but I should be able to see Sean. Um... Uh... 
All right, GPA 3.7, brief summary. Nathan Prescott's continues, Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar ac academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Please. Maxine Caulfield, you have no middle name. City of birth, Arcadia Bay. And we don't have words there. Okay, GPA 2.8. Max, you're like the lowest one so far. Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called, is a considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates as she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints some claims to find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Uh, oh, my transfer from wherever I was. Uh, update. Despite some recent confirma confirmations with the Blackwell security, confrontations with the Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. As this time, there, at this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Victoria Maribeth Chase. Okay, um, GPA 3.9, brief summary. Victoria Chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from the faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations developed to Blackwell's, devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren Daniel Graham, November 20th, 19th. Oh, what was her birthday? August 14th, November 20th. All right. He has a GPA of 4.0. Bitch, you are incredible. Brief summary. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has a gift. He has the gift, of course, of gab, depending on faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but he is not confirmed by his, that this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope that Warren focuses his academic visions and continues towards his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Is, is that something you've always wanted? You, you can always just sit there and say nab. You never had to, like, find the right situation. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Rachel Don Amber. There's not much here about the police investigation. Born July 22nd, 1994, from Long Beach, California update. Unfortunately, Rachel Lambert has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at present unaware of her whereabouts at Blackwell, hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. She also had a GPA of 4.0. I bet Warren would have liked her. Like, just like, as a friend, maybe even had a crush on her. Brief summary, Rachel Lambert is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams at Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Russ. Russell? Uh, I can just do this. Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially be cl been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chrissy Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay PD. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe Elizabeth Price, born March 11th, 1994. She's the birthday's a day after mine and a day before my cat's. That's awesome. She is born in Arcadia Bay. Her, her GPA is 1.7. I can't blame her, though, because her dad died. Brief summary. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does his little homework and is often wit willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti on the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against the non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. I 
think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Chloe has been joined. Max, you better come check out these files. Let's do it. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus. Mm -hmm. And my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark oh, room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he I has something to help. do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. What? It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. Mm. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't <laughs> leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. <laughs> Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Money! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. The handicapped fund. I could pay Frank back tonight. <sighs> this will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Handicapped fund. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Am I? Or just should I? Or and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You know what, Chloe? It's gonna make Frank me look like a bad person, and but I know things that you don't know. Aid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. Okay. I'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. <laughs> Kidding. But you never know. No, maybe. Might want a fun time. I feel like shit for taking that money. Whatever, we're taking it. Disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mr. Mrs. Hoyt's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan was enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may lead, need supervision beyond Nathan's ability Blackwell's beyond Blackwell's ability the school cannot tolerate these disruptions so we hope you will discuss the matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of his situation please see the attached file for full reports Exp update expunged record dear principal wells we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns we're certain this must be a mistake otherwise we fear that we will take nathan out of blackwell to more prestigious and better funded institution please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report Blackwell Incident Report with Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of report inf incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under his psychological supervision. He has thrown a desk in chass, cursed at his English teacher, light lit firecrackers in the bathroom, stole school properties, threatened the school custodian, and attempted to, th to steal the campus to bank a statue. How'd that work out for you, Nathan? David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminologies, according, acting as a friend for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more con concrete proof that he promised, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen has been following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and give in the questionable company Rachel has been keeping. I'm not certain I should believe her right now. Is concerning, but I think we've seen everything there is to see. 
So I guess we're 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 going. Bye. Oh no. That impish look scares me. It should. Care for a midnight swim? Always. The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Splish Did you splash. actually just say hella? Maybe. I think I'm a good bad influencer. Splash me. Splash, we were taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. Splish Splash. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. <laughs> we still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so, so I'd better follow her evil plan. Oh, wait. Maybe there's stuff to look at. Maybe I should do that for go a second. Go otters. Go otters. Oh, we're soda. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. Screw you. Soda's the best, and you don't need to get, like, a dark pop. You could get, like, like a, what's that, what's that say? I can't read that. The one that starts with an S or something. Usually the green ones are, like, pops. Boys or girls? Oh. 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 Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Huh? Let me check to see if the pool's heated. All right, first I want to look at everything else around here. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my FlexiWare swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a switch to $25 bean hip, bean hip cafe gift card. Contact Ray Siren. I don't know who Ray Siren is. Oh, that's the same one. Whoops. I actually yep, don't yep, yep, have yep, the yep. time to investigate this caper. The earth can't wait. I hope the otters will survive. Inform yourself, then share and become an eco-volunteer today. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Oh, this guy again. Listen, someone was selling them if you look for their thing in the main hall. Reward, desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class, and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rest in peace, so I will pay cash reward. No questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now, please! I don't know why I went all crazy there. I just, I, I think I've already read that. The wit, it burns. Mm-hmm. Kate's locker. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Arcadia Bay bus lines, one picture ticket to Portland. It's a one trip. Mm. Oh, wow. So... October 2nd, she would have gone for $18. Wow. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? It's not weird. It's, it's literally flippers in a swimming pool. Where else would they be? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. What? What? They look stiff like cardboard. They look like those cheap, like, hospital towels. That, like, you know... They can't really be fluffy because they can't absorb too much grossness. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. The only one that actually These looks good cool is shots. the one on the left. I'm sorry, the other two, her eyes are terrifying, and the middle one, her lips. Uh, it's, 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 the, it's not the color, it's the shape. I know she's doing, like, the duck face or the kissy face or whatever, but it's just, it's not right. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Yuck, indeed. There's a sock. Where does that other sock go? It just disappears. Goes to a magical world. Whose locker is this? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Well, it's a good thing I'm not, then. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Girls can swim, too. Swim classes for young ladies. 
Oh, why do they keep that up? That's so bad. In the girls' locker. Why? Dear Kate, I don't care, God. Well, we care, dickhead. Really? Fuck. Rachel abides. I hope so, friend. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Alright, there was some over here. Victoria Chase rules. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Yeah, it's not like Victoria wrote that. Sorry, Rachel. Oh. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Plus, that stuff usually stinks. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Oh, you're so hard on yourself, honey. Oh, was over. Oh, that was just a reflection of the light. I'm looking for the whites. The white words. Eh, I can't see anything, though. It's all dark. Swimming. Doors. Don't touch. It's all for the vortex party. Guest list. Looks like I'm the vortex club bouncer. No. Decisions. Decisions. I don't want to remove people. That would be rude. I just want to add people so no one can't go. You see? I want more people to go if they want to go. Because then it wouldn't be a elite thing. It would be a... Uh, or if we're just, it's a school thing. Okay, where's the one for the boys' locker room now? Are you sure? Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, boys' locker room. Okay. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Bros will be bros. Oh, yeah. Room. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Mm hmm. Max Caulfield, moral avenger, or self-righteous hypocrite. Always. Oh, Dana needs a baby daddy. No, she doesn't. There is no baby anymore, which is fine. That was her choice, and... Huh, oh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. I'm trying to go somewhere with that, but really, it was her choice, and that's, that's the end of it. Welcome to 1950. Max is a feminazi. I love Warren Graham. Is... oh. I bet you do. I was gonna say, is that Brooke? And then I realized, one, I'm in the boys' room, and two, it's 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 a mocky face, not an actual, like, legit graffiti. Oh, is it right here? Sex me up. Boys' locker room is right. No worries, it's all bad. Sometimes. E-cigarette. See? Switch to e-cigs. There you go. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Oh, you're just never happy. Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam and Risperidone? You're saying he's being hooked on prescribed medication. These aren't party drugs. I was on Risperidone when I was in high school. What the fuck, Max? Like, maybe if he actually took his medication properly and didn't do other things, maybe this he would be the way be he is. Kids. I don't know. Maybe he's on the wrong medication. I don't know. But let's not say he's hooked on medication that he was prescribed. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Because he likes you, but it's still really creepy. He could have just taken a photo with you. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? It's Juliet's boyfriend, right? Or ex-boyfriend, no? Victoria Chase, hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool. What are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in locker room. Only wearing a jersey. Sitting on my football. Very sexy. Also, I hope they wash the footballs. I'm the one who got the poop on the soccer ball, on the basketballs. What was that from fucking Big Mouth? God, that show ruined me. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an asshole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Maybe you should give that to look her instead of leaving it in your locker. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being very nitpicky. Maybe I shouldn't be. Zachary's jersey. Did I look at that? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Well, I don't want to, so... Let's go turn the heat on for the water. Yum. Yum. Rescue board. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. 
I hope. You, 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 yeah, I was about to say, that's a... In case I run out of air, I know where to come. <laughs> oh, I can't go in there. Halloween pumpkin. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Oh, it's more like a adolescent pumpkin. I've seen the baby pumpkins, and that's much bigger than a baby pumpkin. Oh, the goal, Otter Goal Fall 2013. Win, win, so, win. So, the big plan is... win. I'm sure that that goes very well when you're doing a tournament or something. Rescue dummy. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Ugh. Oh, more drawers. Yes, we get it. Otters. The otters. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. Yes, no. Go back. Okay, I guess I can't look at the picture now. I want to see if Rachel was on the team. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Because it was from a year before, so Rachel might have been there. Oh, right. The power switch. Now I have the power over light and death. Oh, God. I thought, okay. Jeez, I'm getting messages from my family. Can I just go swimming with my girl? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Noise. A little, a little... Time to do or die, Max. Um, too far out. You should have gone a bit more, like, straight down, but whatever. Speak. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Or a creep. Speech Don't you dash. Dare. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. You specifically said the word splish splash. Were you not assuming you would splish splash? Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Why, look, an otter in my water. Oh, no. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She yeah. would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. Of course. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be... dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Mm. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Um, You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and dude. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not oh, down. Oh, no, I thought, she, Bay fuck, I thought she meant like, like she's like killing the vibe for anyway, bros. We have bigger fish to fry, right? You know? No worries. Like, Once you get over yourself, Warren you're when gonna I want make Chloe. the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Aww. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. 
I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Hi. <gasps> oh, I have to like hide now. Okay, um... Over here. Hiding. We have to go now. Oh, we're running. Oh, okay. This way? Okay, if I go back over there, the guard will definitely bust Oh, me. that's where we came from. Fuck me. She was facing the other way, I thought. I got confused. Are you shitting me? Hi, David. How are you? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. Now I hide. See, I, I got it mixed up. Or See, did she not start spot. right here? Or both. So I thought. Where are they? Whatever. Hello? No. Goodbye. I'm so scared. Hello? Anybody not here? here? No. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. That would suck. Serious. We are so invisible. So invisible. Let's bail. Let's do it. Walk. Run. Walk. Wait. <gasps> Turn around. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want okay. me to crash with a Blackwell security officer? I just busted live, so I'll be safe. Okay. Sure. Into the car. Why was he even there? Get in. Wait. You didn't bust him. You got Nathan suspended. You didn't. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> I agree. Yes, so are. But that was stupid. Just to like be so loud after freaking trying to sneak out. Like way to tell them, hey, I'm over here, assholes. This is my vehicle. <laughs> 